Let's bring in Ron Vitello, who is a former chief of U.S. Border Patrol and retired acting ICE director. Uh, good morning to you, Ron. It's good to see you. And we're learning that this hero Border Patrol agent who ended up shooting and killing this gunman was part of the elite BORTAC unit. I think it's something that a lot of people don't know about. Uh, tell us about that unit. Well, good morning, Carly. Let me just start by saying my heart goes out to these victims and their families. And uh, no, no parents should suffer this kind of tragedy. And so our heart goes out to them. As, as, as it relates to the Border Patrol, you know, we're part of communities like Uvalde, Texas. Uh, we're indelible members of, of those communities. You know, Border Patrol agents teach. Uh, they usher at church. They're coaches for Little League and, and those kinds of things. And I'm not surprised, you know, somebody from the Border Patrol tactical unit, they call BORTAC, um, was at the scene. This is what first responders do. This is what Border Patrol agents do. They run to the sound of gunfire to try to help people. Um, and so anybody that knows the Border Patrol knows that they're indelible in communities like this. And their, their mere presence protects all of us. Uh, and now in this case, you know, it, it looks like one of our agents went in and, and sacrificed himself and other agents to, to put the shooter down. And uh, again, those of us that know the Border Patrol, we're not surprised by this. And we're grateful for his efforts. Yeah, along those lines, Ron, this school does have children of Border Patrol agents in it. My question to you is, how much more can these men and women take, these Border Patrol agents? It's not enough that their jobs are literally now impossible, but now their children are being attacked. How much more can these people take, Ron? It is tragic. And uh, unfortunately, when I heard about where this shooting was, uh, my, my first thoughts were to my fellow, my former colleagues, uh, because we know, like I said, we're part of that community. And, and, and uh, I'm grateful for that agent to do that. And yeah, it is a very stressful time uh, for that workforce. And, and this is, is just another uh, brick on the load, if you will, for what they have to face each and every day. Yeah, we're learning that one of the teachers who was killed, her, she's the wife of a, a law enforcement officer. So, so many um, good American families have been affected by this. Um, the officer, one of the officers that was involved in this shootout with the gunman yesterday, um, he was injured, uh, either a bullet or shrapnel to the leg. Do you have any insight on how he is doing? I, I hear that he's he's going to recover, that the, that the injuries are not life-threatening. And so, again, our prayers go to him and his family for those injuries and, you know, the mental anguish that that entire community is going to go through. We, we pray that they recover quickly. Ron, we've been talking about local response all morning long. What more should the federal government do to prevent tragedies like this? Well, you know, I was in the government for a long time. And, and you know, across the, 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 gov, the government enterprise, we, the, the, the taxpayers and their generosity, there's lots of grant money out there for schools and law enforcement and other things. And so, a concentrated effort to make sure that those resources are used in a way that protects these vulnerable kids. I mean, this is a this is an elementary school, so so having dedicated resources, having plans in place, having drills, uh, having the right kind of training and equipment on the ground. I think all of those things, you know, unfortunately, in the aftermath of something like this, you have to look at what was done, what needs to be done, and if. If there's ways yeah. where we could prevent it in the future. Well, Border Patrol officers are always heroes, but we are especially highlighting that today. Ron Vitello, thank you so much for joining us with Thanks, your insight. Ron. Thank you.